Do I feel safer right now? Uh, that is a tricky question um, because though I feel comfortable and I feel stronger, I don't feel safer now. Um, here in my home, uh, I've experienced a white supremacist come up to my door, come up, drive up to my house and intimidate me. I've also had literature drop, um, just anti-LGBT and uh, lit, lit drop here in the, this neighborhood. So I know that the hate is there and I know that people are, um, are emboldened to behave this way. And it's not because of what we're doing here but be in Virginia, but because of the national, uh, the, what people feel nationally. And I think that with our president, Trump, um, with the language he uses and the behavior he, he ex expresses, gives people who, who, ult who might not be um, hateful people the courage to be unkind and intimidate because it's easier to do that because of the example of the president. So do I feel safer? Not really. Um, do I feel uh, strong? Yes, I feel stronger. I feel stronger because I've built a community. Being involved and advocating for something I believe in and having it uh, come through in a positive way makes me feel that I am, I am accepted and I belong to a larger community um, that supports me. Even if there are outside people who don't, this community makes me feel, feel safe even with them to, to build up on what I'm already doing. So I've already been involved with local political organizations and um, local issue organizations. And they give me the courage to keep doing that and then to keep building on it. So I can go door knock um, at an area that I feel that it's not safe because I feel that they give me this, they give me the sense of protection, meaning I know that they're going to have my back. I'm not saying that when I, if I got in a fight, they're going to jump in and, <laughs> and beat up somebody. But what I'm saying is that they will advocate for me if by any chance I can't advocate for myself. And that's what we did. That's what I did. I built, I built a community when there wasn't one. I built a coalition when there wasn't one. I helped to elect people who can amplify my concerns and my voices, in my voice and my family's voice. And I've also built a foundation to stand firm on. When before when we were here, it was kind of like quicksand. <laughs>